two branches of the Church of Christ have made a cash donation of 12,000 CDs to cover the cost of surgery for the infant who was diagnosed with hydrocephalus and spinal feeder at Beth at the Nadoli Government Hospital. Now that amount raised by the Nadoli and Takwa Council branches has been presented to the mother of the boy. It's been a race against time for the infant after he was diagnosed. As doctors say, he may not survive for long without the surgery. Nadoli Kaleo Health Director Phoebe Balangunyetemi launched a campaign to appeal for funds for the boy when she realized the parent both subsistence farmers were in no position to fund the surgery. She says they will immediately start the process to prepare him for the medical procedure. And for me, this morning is, is very exciting. I can't really express my joy. But we are so grateful to our brother Emmanuel and then his brother Dasa, Mr. Dasa in Takwa, and also all the members of the Church of Christ for being or hearing our cry and coming to our aid. Myself, the medical director, and the entire hospital management team, the entire district health team, we want to say that we are so grateful for the support that you've given us. And we know it's going to go a long way to help this baby. So we would quickly start with the process. The baby has to, first of all, go for what we call CT scan, for them to see the extent of the problem. And then the neurosurgeon will be seen. He, we've always been in contact with him. And he's ready to receive the baby at any time. And we know that something positive will come out of it. Certainly something positive we all expect. Emmanuel Kunsang of the Nadoli branch of the Church of Christ presented the money to the mother of the infant, who was very grateful. Actually motivated by uh, love for humanity, uh, we really want to see this baby do well. One will never know what he's going to be in the future. And, and I think that is the main issue. Uh, we came up to make a presentation of 12,000 to our little brother. And uh, I'm also grateful to Joy News for bringing it up. Had it not been Joy News, probably would not have gotten the information. And also to the timely intervention of the hospital. If they have not detained the child and allowed the child to go home, probably the story would have been different. So we thank Almighty God and we thank Joy News, we thank the hospital staff for bringing this issue, issue up. 